got these amazing turkey sandwiches. Look how good, we're literally starving. Avocado. Okay, we have just arrived in Newport. We are, I think, pretty close to our hotel. It is around 5.15. We are gonna check in. Okay, we've just arrived at the Vanderbilt, which is where we're staying. Such a cute hotel. I'm holding so many bags, so I'm not really doing a good job, but um, it seems to be kind of like in the town, in the mix of things. And yeah, we have a rental car. Okay, hello from Rhode Island. We have finally made it. We just arrived at the Vanderbilt, which is where we are staying. And we drove from Boston to Rhode Island. We flew in, we stopped. I showed you, we had a little lunch at Tate's and then traffic was a little backed up, but we have made it here. Ann and I are travel partners in crime. Um, so it's around 5.30 and our first event is this evening at six o'clock. We are going down to Bowen's Wharf to KJP, Pal James Patrick's flagship store. There's a cocktail party from six to eight tonight. And then we're going to dinner with a group of ladies at 8.15 to this restaurant called Pasta Beach. So a bunch of other brands and influencers were all going to dinner. Patricia, we know and love, um, set it all up and put it together. So. We just checked into our room and we actually got upgraded and I think we got champagne. So I'm gonna give you a little room tour and then I'm going to change, do my makeup, freshen up, get glam. And it's like a five minute walk from the hotel. So we're just gonna walk down to the cocktail party. So this is all working out perfectly. But first let me show you the room. So like I said, we are in a suite. Um, so you just walk in, here is the bathroom. And I think the Vanderbilt is an old mansion that they have refurbished. I mean, look how cool this bathroom is. It looks like that's an old fireplace. Hi, Anne, look how Hi. cute she looks in her little trench coat. Her travel look, little um, inspector, wet bar, yeah, <laughs> sleuth N. Um, and then here is the living room. So cute, and then the TV, um, pretty bookshelves. I love their boxed water, the silver tray and the rocks glasses, such a cute attention to detail. And then we have this little dining area with some coupe glasses and they're like chilling champagne for us. How amazing. Oh wait, is this for mimosas? Maybe that's for mimosas. Um, so yeah, this is so cute. Just a little welcome to Rhode Island, to Newport. And then in here is the main bedroom with a big king size bed. So we'll both share that. I actually love the wallpaper. It's very East Coast classic cozy vibes. Oh my gosh, huge bathroom with double sinks. Okay, I'm living for this hardware and tile. I'm obsessed. Look how cute. Also, this is what I wore traveling. This sweater we got in Palm Springs um, at the Ralph Lauren store. So cozy and comfortable and classic. Just looks like this. And then I'm wearing my pixie pants and my Gucci loafers standard Emily fit when we have to travel. Um, look at this tile and like the detail. I'm trying to keep a steady hand. This camera is like unnecessarily heavy. And then I think we just have a closet, which we probably won't even end up using. But this is the full tour. Um, we have our suitcases right here. So I'm gonna get changed and we're gonna get ready for this evening, night one in Newport. We're here Monday to Thursday. We just stepped outside for a quick second, but I wanted to fill you guys in. Okay, this is KJP's car that you guys see in like every single of their posts. It's parked right outside the store. Literally how fitting and perfect. We are having so much fun. I'm here with mom. We're gonna head back into the party and then we're ready to go to dinner. We just got back from the evening. What a night, what a time. We had so much fun. So we started off by going to KJP's flagship store. There was a cocktail party. I'm pretty sure I got some clips. 
so much fun. We met Kyle and Sarah who were lovely and a lot more of the people on their team um, who were also followers, which I had no idea, so I got to know them. And it was such a beautiful store. And then we went to dinner with a big group of us that Patricia put together at a restaurant called Pasta Beach, which was super cute. She, Patricia picked the perfect restaurant. But I remembered that I had forgotten to show you guys my outfit and I really liked my outfit for tonight. The whole look was styled by Anne and I'm so happy that I went with this. I'm gonna put you right here because the whole place is very dark. I'm wearing this dress from Alice and Olivia. It is so me. Um, I just love how it's like this Chanel inspired look. And then it has this pearl collar, which we unbuttoned these buttons. Originally, we were gonna just wear it as a sleeveless dress, but it just was missing something. So we layered this white Oxford underneath it, kind of opened up a few of these buttons. We wanted it to look a little bit more relaxed. And then I'm just wearing uh, my favorite little Amazon Chanel dupe heels, which are seriously amazing. Like I pretty much took them off, but they're so comfortable and they always like elongate your leg and go with every outfit. And then I took my mom's little pink Chanel shoulder bag. So this was the look. Oh, and of course my Emily on Bose earrings. Um, and then mom had on a really cute pink blazer, black pants and classic loafers. So yeah, it was such an amazing night. Mom, did you have fun? So much fun. So much fun was had. And we have a huge day tomorrow. The first speaker starts at nine and I think there's like breakfast and then you take it into the room and then the conference begins. So Dudley Stevens, Chappie Wrap, and Gray Mallon is tomorrow. Gray Mallon was actually there tonight, but he like didn't come into the cocktail party. He was just outside. So Anne was kind of fangirling because she literally loves Gray Mallon. And he was like in the vicinity. We saw him. So hopefully we get to meet him tomorrow. But um, it was so much more successful than I could have ever imagined. And we are looking forward to tomorrow. I will show you our outfits bright in the morning. I am so tired. I'm going to shower and get into this glorious bed. They did some turn down service, so it looks quite inviting. And yeah, we're going to retire from the evening. East Coast gals, here we are from the West Coast to the East Coast. So we will see you guys in the morning.
Then we have to print that perfect image. And printing it itself is an art form. We have to get the color combinations just right so we can transform and match the digital image into something tangible and spectacular on paper. Then comes my favorite part of the entire process, the signing table. This is where I personally number and hand sign every single image before it leaves the studio. I love adding a personal touch to each piece of artwork. It really gives me the chance to relive the photographic moment and escape back to that time and place. Then we send the photograph to be framed. Each frame is not only custom cut, but it's handcrafted, steam pressed and mounted, all to be delicately packaged and sent off to your doorstep, arriving ready to hang. Sometimes people stop and ask me how I come up with my ideas for my projects. I'm not always sure what to say because I don't always have the answer. But the one thing that always remains true is that inspiration can always be found where creativity meets opportunity. If someone were to ask me years ago if I thought I would be here in West Hollywood running my own photography business, traveling the world to create whimsical photo series, all while sharing the fun, exhilarating adventures, jet set lifestyle, I would have had to answer yes, because that is who I am. This is what I know, and I know it's what I'm meant to be doing. Welcome to the Grammy Home Studios. Um, an honor, so thank you for being here, and to everyone who's been working here. That's what I need, in a helicopter. <laughs> Never been in a helicopter in my life. Um, and sure enough, called, you know, I Googled helicopter from Miami, and we popped up, this is so sketchy, but. <laughs> the guy who answered was like, oh, I, I'm a photographer too, like, I can take off the doors of the helicopter, I can get you right up there, we'll get you these pictures, no problem. And I was like, okay, I'm perfect, I'll be right there. <laughs> so I took this helicopter ride into Miami. It was actually amazing, it was kind of like a uh, magic carpet ride. And we were shooting over the pools, but all of a sudden, like, it just didn't look as great as I was hoping. And I kind of like lifted up my lens and looked out at the horizon, and that's really truly where I first saw the beach. And this was the very first photograph I ever took, ever, over the beach in South Beach. And it's where I first saw, had the vision of the umbrellas and the Shays Lounge chairs, and kind of this idea came about the pattern and form, what if I could get up and shoot this? So I took these images back to my mentor. Here's me. Um, this is much later on the cover. I look much more professional here. But um, I took it back to my mentor, and she was like, great, this is amazing. New images for One King's Lane to sell. Because they were like, what's next? What's next? So sure enough, I'm shooting in Kauai. I'm shooting in, I flew to Sydney. I went to Rio de Janeiro. All because I had friends in these places, by the way. I don't know. You know, I have a translator in the helicopter, it's a whole thing. Um, and I was using my savings, like I really was using all my savings to fund these helicopters because they're not cheap. And ultimately, I put together a collection of like 40 images to go for sale on One King's Lane. East Coast time, so I, when I woke up the next morning, it was already like 11 a.m., it was like 8 a.m. Pacific, every single image was completely sold out. And the, I had an email from the, the co-founder, and she was like, Ray, we need more. <laughs> so it just set off this like, wow, I can't believe the response to these images. You know, I had instant feedback, basically, that this was going to be popular. So I just sort of set off on this trip um, in the lobby, and I was like, wouldn't it be so funny if there was a monkey in here? And I could just picture like all these animals living here. And sure enough, I was able to figure out, for four years I shot this series, from like 2013 to 2017, I was able to work with these incredible animal trainers who, a lot of these animals were from film and TV, and they lived on these huge ranches, but I was able to shoot this kooky series. I was like, what, like, are you kidding me? So, the, the photography had worked like through one King's Lane, to, like, it had been dispersed into all these markets. Not tons and tons and tons, but just enough where even in a place that no one's gonna just let you in. So I had to like fly back and forth numerous times to talk to the breakers. Like, would you 
let me shoot a series here. I shot at the Beverly Hills Hotel. Like, I really want to do Florida. I've done California twice, three times. I want to move to a new region. And the Breakers is just the epitome of old, I mean, of Palm Beach glamour. And um, so, sure enough, like, literally, just enough. This is so important. You always have to put in the time, right? It's not like these things happen overnight. I flew multiple times, showed my interest, tried to, you know, and I got access and they shut down for this photo of the front drive. So we parked those cars there, staged this whole thing. It's actually one of my favorite pictures. I think the color story was so strong. Um, and. Um, nobody really knew where it came from other than my grandparents had bought it to Europe. We had our biggest sales day when uh, I think it was like 2018 or something and it was actually the day we realized we needed a fulfillment center because we were fulfilling the At the end of the day, if, it, if we're talking about PR or design or something, I know that Florence world all the time defer to her. It might have both all defer to her if it's more about like the website or uh, you know, behind the scenes. Wednesday, we've gotten up and out, and we are going to have a full day of exploring Newport. The first stop is Nitro Bar. I've gotten this recommendation from you guys a few times. I think it's a cute coffee shop. So we're in a really fun area. Um, we just got ready, and then we're going to go to lunch at Castle Hill. We cannot seem to find... Oh, it's right there. Where? Oh, I see it. Nitro Bar. So this is the area that we're in. I'm walking around with yeah. Anne. Just got coffee and we're here at Nitro Bar. It's so cute. Everyone was recommending it to me. So we came. Hello and good morning. Good morning. Okay, now we are over by the Tennis Hall of Fame, which we've actually been here when we were little and played on the grass court, but it's exciting to see it again. It's also kind of a busy day here. So we're right on this street, which seems to have lots of shops and then the International Tennis Hall of Fame. One of the podcast listeners suggested it. Oh, this needle pointing place? Okay, it looks really cute. So I don't even really needle point, but Elizabeth I got me see it. a little kit and there's um, a place in Palm Beach called Lisette, if I'm saying that right. And yeah. she said it's in Newport, so we have a little time. We're gonna check it out. So here's the Hall of Fame, very chic. And then all the mansions are behind us, which I think we might come back after our lunch mm -hmm. at Castle Hill yeah. and zip around. This traffic is kind of crazy for a Wednesday. Mm -hmm. We have completely lost track of time in like the best way possible. I'm not saying that and like, oh my God, we're so busy. But just like last Wednesday we were in Palm Springs and we were in Riverside having lunch with your friend Linda. And now we're in Newport. Who 
are we? I don't know. <laughs> I like this version of us though. Oh, that's cute. Empire tea and coffee. I think she's got a couple. This is great. Cute. Let's see. Okay, we're gonna spot. go park and walk around. We have seemed to found a good area. Okay, so we're here at the little shops, and this is the this is the uh, needlepoint shop that we're going to. <laughs> What's it called? Lisette. Yes, if I'm saying that. And it's probably. also in Palm Beach, and one of you guys recommended it to us, so we're gonna go in, walk around, and then we'll probably go to Lower and Hope, which is right over there as well. And we got a sneezy Anne. <laughs> I do remember this and it's a good time to come nobody's here look at her oh that's a house that is a home craziness we're here in the Vanderbilt this was their summer home I just can't even believe it we were here before look at the ceiling and that's their family crest right there it's insane Literally crazy. You the man of the hour. The hey Cornelius. Love your house. <laughs> We're in the morning room. For the mornings. We're in the breakfast room. Like, also this is a great time to travel because there's like nobody here. Last time we were here was in the summer and it was packed in this house. One of the premier decorators for America's elite families was Jules Allard. He's French. Wow. Up on the second floor, look at this view. Imagine just like waking up and coming out here in the summer. So crazy. We are on the cliff walk at the back of Salve Regina and we have found the daffodils that are all in bloom overlooking the water right next to the breakers, the Vanderbilt house, which we just toured. And we were just driving past and I was like, look at all the daffodils. So I'm we hopped ready, out. But like there are so many that have bloomed. There are so many that have bloomed already. And it is just absolutely magnificent. We're gonna get some pictures of moi yes, in the I feel daffodil. Like I'm in a movie. Who are we? Um, this is so pretty. pretty. You can see that the ones that are like in the sun have bloomed much more. I bet this is a great hot spot for photographers. Imagine going to school here. Let me know in the comments if anyone went to Salve. Regina. Regina. <laughs> I'm having a hard time saying that. So where should I go to take the picture? Wow. Like where should I stand? Look at this. Wow. And I think from what I understand all along the cliff walk at different spots are daffodils. Oh my gosh. This is just magnificent. Look at all the daffodils. If you guys need a little spring hope, it's hanging out over here. <laughs> in Rhode Island. That is just gorgeous. And then the water is right here at Cliff Walk. I love it. We're going to take some pictures. This is the Marble House. Very famous. We've been in there before. We have been in there before. 
very pretty. Okay, everyone, we're going to dinner now, just in the hotel restaurant, which we're actually excited about because it's a really nice restaurant and we haven't been there yet. So we had a full day of exploring. I hope you guys enjoyed the clips of the adventures that we got up to. I like how we literally did all that in full on business casual. So I was hiking on the cliff walk and a penny loafer. But anyway, um, we came back to the hotel at like 5.15. Where did we end? Oh, we ended at KJP because we actually wanted to pick some stuff up from the store because the other night at the cocktail party, there were so many cute things, but we didn't really have a chance to, we didn't buy anything. We got some sweaters and pajamas and we got to say hi to Brittany and the lovely girls who work at KJP. So now we've changed for dinner. I just wanted to like get out of my shoes and my pants and my sweater, so pretty much my entire outfit. Um, this is what I'm wearing. I just have the same light blue cashmere short sleeve sweater that we love from J. Crew. My white pants from J. Crew. These are not the Camry cut. Um, recently, we've transitioned into this other style that is so much more flattering. I wore these to my pop up, so I'll leave a link. And then this navy leather blazer I've actually had for a few years, but it's still available on Tucker Duck. She's classic. She goes with everything, and it's a good travel piece. I'm taking Anne's black Chanel purse because I've been obsessed with navy and black recently. I think it's so fun. And then I'm wearing my Amazon little Chanel inspired heels, nude and black, super cute. Where are you, mom? Oh, there you are. Hello, over there. Hi. And then what are you, <laughs> so what are you wearing? I was, I was quietly Get over there. Get it going, yeah. I just have on navy pants. And I think they're Lafayette. Of course. And a Tory Burch top that I've oh. had for a while. And my little Louboutins. I love it. So chic. We're very coordinated. And a Gucci bag. We have been coordinating the past two days. And yeah. And, and I feel like tonight we're kind of doing like navy and black. That's what I was just saying. We've been loving navy and black for the spring. Yes. Everybody, let's get hop on this train because, I don't know, it's just kind of fun. It's mm -hmm. chic. So anyway, we're going to go down to the restaurant. I'll probably leave my camera here because she's the heavy thing. Um, but the phone quality is actually pretty good and we're going to get it. Cocktail sounds great <laughs> and just have a relaxing evening. It's only six o'clock. So we have a nice time We've been eating. Um, I feel like we were eating dinner late the past two we nights, were, which, was, which was really fun Just like but really wild kind of early birds tonight. We are the earliest of birds. Yeah. So we're gonna go chirp chirp, chirp downstairs chirp, chirp, chirp. and I'll see you guys when we're done